So hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all having a very good day and welcome to a very very special video. Today we are going to be riding aboard Locomotive Services Limited Midland Pullman HST as we travel on the Settle and Carlisle Pullman. So you join us today at Bitter North at 7.30 in the morning, ready to board the train. However, this train actually started at 6.30 in the morning at Gerrard's Cross. On board the train, you could pick from two classes of travel. First off was the Pullman Dining, which was the more expensive option, at £350 per person. It included a fully laid out table being served chilled bucks fizz and pastries prior to arriving into Carlisle, with a five course meal being served on the way back. The other option you could choose, which was what we chose, was the first class, non-dining which was £185 per person and included complimentary tea and coffee along with two snack boxes one in the morning one on the return which you'll see later. You were also served a morning glass of Bucks Fizz and in the afternoon a glass of white wine on the return. You could also bring on board your own picnic which is what we did. We were seated in coach G which is a second to last coach and we were on the last table at the end of the coach which was seats 45, 46, 47 and 48 which was very handy for the toilets. Here's a picture I took of our table with the lovely first class reclining seats we had which were very comfy. When we boarded, our table had four of these blue booklets with a picture of the original Midland Pullman on it which had loads of information about the journey we would be going on and various sites we could see and it also had information about the original Midland Pullman. We also had two of these timetable sheets that had times of when we were expected to be where at what times including stations, junctions and freight yards. I of course was checking out real time trains as well. Now we're heading up the Duet Main Line towards Banbury when we got served our first complimentary tea and coffee. And here is a superbly cinematic slow mo shot of me pouring milk into a coffee. What more could you ask for? I may as well just finish the video now. Here we are joining the Chirwell Valley Line at Aino Junction just before we go through the small village station of King Sutton where two years ago I filmed this exact train on the return journey from Carlisle which I will show you in a moment. So here we are just pulling into Banbury, which was the first stop after we boarded at Bitha North, arriving in here at about 10 to 8. Just after leaving Banbury, we were given our morning snack box, which was crammed with all sorts of snacks from crisps, to chocolate bars, to cake, to pretzels, to raisins, to breakfast bars, a really fantastic snack box. And we would also get another one on the return. And it was at this time as well, we got served two bottles of Buck's Fizz, which went down lovely. I do love a good glass of Buck's Fizz. But here we are just about to pull into Leamington Spa, which is now where I'm gonna shut up and let you just enjoy the journey with some nice music and I'll rejoin you when we get to crew.
So welcome to Clue everybody. This was the first stop we had on this journey in order to get out and stretch our legs and take some pictures and Clue has such a lovely station. I took a few pictures of the back of the train and the cab along with some mainline workings such as this London Northwestern Railway service before we reboarded to continue the journey north.
so here we are. We are up in Carlisle and the weather couldn't be more perfect. Really, really beautiful day. Really, really hot. And it's a fantastic station up in Carlisle. A lovely, lovely glass roof. However, because it was a really hot day, it was like standing in a greenhouse. The heat underneath this glass roof was absolutely immense. But we had a wander onto the platform one and we saw a class 57 in DRS livery and then I also managed to catch this Transpennine Express class 397 Nova 2 departing to some far and distant land. <laughs> Before the train departed to go and park up ready for the return journey, I took some more pictures and videos from the front before we went into the city. We had two hours in Carlisle and we went into some shops and had a little walk around, but not a huge amount to film or take pictures of. I did take a picture of the front of the station from the road, which is a beautiful piece of architecture. But now I'm going to skip ahead two hours as we wait for the train to arrive back in ready for the return journey. So here we are back at the station waiting for the train to arrive back for the journey home. We were supposed to depart at about 20 to 25 past 4 I believe but we ended up being nearly 10 minutes late because we had to wait for a northern class 156 that was on platform 2 which you can just see here. Uh, that was heading towards Barrow because obviously mainline services take priority over charter services and the issue was on platform 1 there was a Trans Pennine service and there was passengers getting off of that and connecting onto the Barrow train so it all got a bit jumbled up and a bit complicated but we ended up departing a little bit late but that didn't really matter because the main thing is we were on the train and ready relaxing for the journey home and what do you do when you're relaxing you crack open a beer but now i'm just gonna not talk until we get all the way back down to Bister north i'm just gonna play music for the whole journey home so enjoy that
So here we are back at Bessie North after 14 hours since we left. 7.30 in the morning to just gone 9.30 in the evening, but what a great day it was. In my opinion, was it worth £185? Yes, 100%. The service from everyone on board was great, and you got lots of complimentary tea and coffee throughout the day, and the snack boxes were great. We weren't expecting so many snacks, so we brought a decent sized picnic, and we ended up taking home most of the snacks, and I'm still eating mine. Next time I don't think we need to bring such a big picnic. Great value for money, the scenery was also brilliant and the ride was incredibly smooth as well. Definitely will do something like this again and I recommend it to you. Anyway, without further ado, that leaves me left to say thank you for watching, it is greatly appreciated. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe, but for now, that is me signing off and I'll see you down the line very, very soon. Take care everybody, bye for now.